Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the file system module in Node.js. Uh, today, we'll talk about a couple of functions that will allow us to create directories in our file system. Uh, these functions are mkdir and mkdir sync. Uh, mkdir sync is the synchronous version which will uh, allow us to create a directory, uh, half the program rate, and then after that, we can use that directory within the rest of our program. Uh, mkdir is the uh, asynchronous version of that. Now, what we'll need to provide is the path to those directories that we want to create. We can optionally provide a mode which will determine the uh, uh, security uh, permissions uh, that people, uh, that users uh, will have within that directory. So they can, they probably could be able to pre read files, write files, and execute files depending on how you set the mode and what uh, uh, code you provide to set the mode. All right, so uh, when you use the uh, asynchronous version, you can provide a callback that will execute once that directory is being created. And the return values for these functions are undefined, so there's no data you can get out of that. Here, uh, I am pulling the file system module, uh, so using the require function. Uh, and here I created an object that helped me keep track of the names of the directories I'm going to create. So when I use the synchronous version of the function, I will use sync here. And when I use the asynchronous version of the function, of the function, I will use the async right here. All right, so let's go ahead and use the synchronous version of this function and create a directory right here, right now. So fs.mkdir.sync. What I need to provide is a path uh, uh, to that directory, which is in their names, that sync, as I told you before. And the next thing you can provide is a mode. By default, the mode is 0777, which means that any user is allowed to do essentially everything uh, in here within this directory. So 7 means you can read, write, and execute. So you can see. 777 that means the user is able to do everything groups of users are able to do anything and uh, uh, others uh, which are guests to the, to, to the system are also able to do anything all right so uh, in here I don't want this to be the case I just want me and my groups of users but I want uh, the guests to just be able to read and write all right so let's go ahead and run this program and see what we get. All right, and as you can see here, I have created a directory, which you named created there. All right, so not very uh, exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and create a file within that directory as we are creating it. Now, the issue here, we have to delete this because let's say we run this again, we'll get an error, it will tell us, hey, this already exists, you know, you can't create another one. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now, let's uh, as we create the directory, let's create a file within it. Okay, so fs that create actually write write file sync. This is a function that allow us to create a file. All right, so we've looked at this function before. So just look back at a couple of videos I've published uh, uh, last week, and, uh, and you'll see how to use this function to create a file. All right, so what we'll need to provide here is a path to the file. I want to create it within the directory. So let's go ahead and provide that from their names. Their names that sync. All right, and let's say the file I want to create. I'm gonna call it file.js, for example. All right, so. What I can provide here is the data that's going to be in that file. Now, let's say let's say we want to be fancy, okay? We want to create a function here, and we want the text in that file to be that function. Let's call this function print boom. Okay, print boom. You know, in JavaScript, uh, when you have a fun functions of first class citizens, so you can do function that to string and it will give you the string data of that function. So you'll see what I mean once you see it. Uh, so console, I actually needed that log here. And 
let's just print boom as long as I can spell okay okay so this is the function print boom and what I want to do here is get the text of that function to go in that file okay so all I have to do here is do print boom that to string okay okay that will give me the string value and what I want here is for that function to be executed every time you do node and then file.js all right so we're creating a file within that directory and we are giving it as data the string of that function all right so let's run this and see what we get all right so our directory is created again and within it we have the file and in that file we have our function right here that is going to be able to execute so let's run this right here so the directory we created is cr and then file.js oops actually you should do that first okay so you can see here boom is printed and that's what that, that function is programmed to do all right so this was uh just uh, how you can create a directory we're using the synchronous uh, version of the mkdir function all right so let's go ahead and comment this out let's get into the asynchronous way of doing this all right so let's uh, go ahead and use fs.mkdir okay again what we'll need to provide is the name the path uh, to that directory so that async uh, and now uh, let's not worry about mode you know what that is already so let's just provide a callback here the callback will receive an error if there is one so now let's check for our errors okay if there is an error I want to just print that error to the console console.log err that message okay next if there is no error let's just print out that this directory was created successfully console.log okay let's say oops I actually want dollar here your names that async created inside okay this will create the directory asynchronously for us run that okay, it was created and there it is again there's nothing in it but there's nothing stopping us for from doing that same thing that we did up there inside here now if you put that out here for example uh, there might be some failures uh, because there's a chance that there's a good chance that before this is over uh, JavaScript will have run this line and find out that oh uh, that directory doesn't exist and here you go you get in trouble and again if I run this now it will attempt to create this directory again which already exists and you already know what uh, uh, you're gonna get an error here all right so let's get rid of that. Nah. Let's get rid of that. All right, and let's uh, delete uh, this directory here. So we can run everything again. So let's do that. Well, first thing we'll do here is make sure we change the name here since we copied and pasted. All right, so let's run that. Async there created. Let's look in there. The file is put in there and then here you go so we've created a couple of directories here and we just added a JS file inside each of them and each of just JS file can run okay so you can see here and if I do this with uh, a sync a s y n created run this and then we get boom as well so the files are working nicely all right so we created a directory for 
uh, using each of the function using uh, mkdir and mkdir sync. Okay, and you know, as a bonus, uh, we created a file inside those directories, and it's a JavaScript file, and uh, we can execute it uh, as uh, we please. All right, so this is the video, guys. Um, uh, again, uh, we used uh, mkdir and mkdir sync uh, in this video to create uh, directories, and all we've had to do is provide a path, optionally provide a mode, and if we use the asynchronous version, we can provide a callback that will execute uh, after that directory is being created. All right, so this is the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.